that today we were tracking down my lost pet. Last night there was some thunderstorms and the chicken's just missing. Oh, there's a feather right Look there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These feathers right here could be a sign of struggle. You should go that way and then I'm gonna go this way. I'm getting really nervous for Sweetie right now because Sweetie could become a python snack. What is up everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope all of you guys are having just an absolutely amazing day and for those that are new here, well, I'm Jacob and welcome to my jungle. If you guys saw the title and thumbnail, you will know for today's video that today we were tracking down my lost pet. Not really my lost pet, but my buddy Sal. My friend Sal called me up and said, Jacob, I need your help. One of my chickens did not come home last night and he recruited my help to actually search out and track down this chicken. And while we were tracking down this chicken, we found some really crazy stuff. So if you guys wanna know if we found this chicken, if he's all right, what the heck is going on? Well guys, you are in the right place and we're gonna hop right into that. All right, guys, I just got over here to Sal's house. Sal, what's up, bro? What's up, Jacob? So, Sal, what's going on? I'm so glad you got here today. All right. The chicken is missing. We let them out to graze every day, but for whatever reason, last night there was some thunderstorms and the chicken's just missing. Yeah, guys, you heard it from Sal firsthand. Sal's beloved chicken. Wait, which chicken is this? I know you got a bunch of little chickens. No, this chicken's called Sweetie because she's the sweetest chicken we ever met. The sweetest chicken Sal has ever met, and this chicken has unfortunately gone missing, so... Where do you think the chicken went missing? Well, we have a big field in the back of the property okay. um, that we've been hearing some weird stuff coming out of there. Wait, 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 wait. Weird yeah. stuff? Like, what kind of weird stuff? Like, I don't know if maybe there's like a coyote. We've, a heard, coyote? we've seen some big barn owls coming out of there. Some, even we've even seen bats. Bats. Okay, so this is crazy. This is the first time I've heard about bats, coyotes, and owls all in the same spot. So. Oh, I think I see the field over here. So, guys, this is not good at all. Sal's beloved chicken, Sweetie, has gone missing. So, yeah. I think this is the chicken coop right here. Is this where they normally hang out? Yeah, this is Ginger. She, they always come home at night. Um, we lock them up at night so they're safe from all the predators. Yeah. But for whatever reason, she didn't make a home at night. She did and not. it was raining, there was thunderstorms, so we weren't able to go out and check. So well, that's not good at all. So especially in South Florida and just everywhere in general, you want to lock your chickens up at night because of coyotes, possums, raccoons. That's all easy dinner for one of those predators. So we have Ginger right here. Ginger, we're going to do everything we can to get your friend back, okay? So now that you got to see the chicken coop, you got to see Ginger the chicken. We have got to do some investigating. We've got to hopefully save Sweetie. But before we actually head to the back field, the 12 acres where we are suspecting Sweetie is, we're gonna check out Sal's coming eye monitor. Sal, this enclosure is so sick. Oh, so thanks, this is like what I wanna build for all of my lizards and I definitely wanna get into some water monitors. I mean, you built this all by hand, right? Yeah, this is all just me, me and my dad. Me and your dad, so cool. So Sal has got a coming eye water monitor in here. So let's head on in, let's check her out. Is she, does she need to be fed? Is she ready for some food? Uh, she's actually pretty well fed, so she should be calm and easy to handle today. Okay, all right, we're gonna head in. This is exactly what I wanna do. Nice, naturalistic enclosures with a water feature. Beautiful coming eye monitor right here. We just wanna be gentle. We don't wanna be fast with our movements because we want her to be trusting of us. So Sal's handing off the monitor to me. Varanus coming eye. One of the coolest water monitor species there is. And she actually already laid some eggs and we tried to incubate them. We were hoping they were gonna be uh, fertile via parthenogenesis, which is actually being fertile without being with a male ever. So look at this guys, beautiful monitor. Look at that tongue flip. She's tasting the camera, wondering what it is, investigating if it's a threat. It's just so, so cool. Look at this guys, absolutely amazing animals. Whoa, all right guys, let's get out of here. You guys got to see Ginger the chicken. You got to see Packy the monitor. Now we're heading over to what? The first bit of evidence that you found? Yeah, I found some evidence. There's some dirt turned over by the fence. Okay. So maybe a predator lured her out or scared her, not sure. Guys, we're not sure, but I see the fence you're talking about and we're just gonna take a look at what Sal's telling us about today. So this what? This leads to 12 acres of straight jungle? Yeah, it's 12 acres of just empty land. Um, nobody's doing nothing with it, uh, but we do hear some weird noises from there at night. Weird noises. We could be dealing with some coyotes, but let me see. Oh, I see it already. I see this already. So from your guys' perspective, it's kind of hard to see, but right here, and especially since it rained last night, you can see all of this ground is really packed down. But this area right here, this is all loose dirt, like something was kicking. Oh, there's a feather right Look there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just, we both saw him at the same time. Yeah. Oh, and it's on the fence too. Oh, yeah, no, something must have happened Something here. must have happened, guys. You can see that this, you can see that this feather right here is just completely ruffled up and there's more feathers. We got one, two. You see any more feathers? 
Man, I, I two, hope she's okay. Three. This is not, honestly, bro, this is not looking too good right now. No, that's not good. This is not good at all right now. We just found all these feathers. Which, these feathers right here could be a sign of struggle. You can see they're not perfect feathers. They look like they're all kind of just ruffled here. Do you want these feathers? Yeah, I guess. We found these feathers, and this is very concerning. Sal, I mean, we're, we got to hope for the best, but we yeah. got to prepare for the worst, man. She's our favorite chicken. So we got to find her. We got to find her. So Let's I go. guess there's only one thing left to do. We're going to go into these 12 acres right here. Man, she could be anywhere up here. Anywhere in here. It's like finding a needle in a haystack. So basically, we're going to look for this chicken back here. Um, it's going to be pretty hard to find, I think, anything back here, let alone a chicken. You see any more feathers? I'm, I, I don't know, but I would assume she's not going to go anywhere on this side or this side because it's all built up. I think she's gonna kind of follow the path through here because for a chicken, it's just gonna have to hop over. I mean, this, some of this stuff is two or three feet tall over here. So we're just gonna head on back here. 12 acres of forest and we gotta find a chicken. So Sal and I are just about to be dead center inside of this jungle. I mean, now we're really getting into the thick of it. You can see that there's all these different kind of clusters of this sawgrass right here. So you know what I'm thinking, Sal? You think I'm she's thinking around here? I would think so because I don't think she's going to stay out here because out in this main field, it's just open and exposed and we have Pixie coming to help us. Pixie and Sweeties are their best friends. They're so. great friends. So Pixie's following us because she wants us to bring Sweetie home safe. Pixie, are you trying to show us and lead the way? Do you know where your friend is? Please show us. I think you should go that way okay. and then I'm going to go this way. So Sal, I'll see you bro. Sal's going to head out. Sal's going to go looking. I'm gonna head this way, and guys, we'll be back with you once we find something. Guys, this is a serious trek. I should've worn my boots and pants for this because we're getting into some thick stuff. Kinda opened up here again, but you can see that right in here, not only could there be a chicken in here, but I'm thinking that this is also kinda like prime territory for some invasive pythons. The pythons love kinda this sawgrass material because it creates an incredible nest. Oh, this looks like great nesting area here, guys. We might even find a python right now. Could honestly be pretty crazy because if you look right here, this is, oh yeah, yeah, this is good, good stuff. Right in here, this thick stuff would be an ideal python nest. The python could kind of have a tunnel that runs up inside of this cluster and you'd be fully protected from all kinds of predators from the rain. But this right here also looks like good area. All of this dead leaf litter provides an incredible habitat for the pythons. The pythons We'll kind of dig out an area here. They'll make a nest. But honestly, since this is a prime python territory, I'm getting really nervous for Sweetie right now because Sweetie could become a python snack. So Sal just called me over. He said he found something. So I've just started running all the way, literally like a half an acre away. Sal, what'd you find? Pixie just found an egg. She found an egg? Yeah, she's sitting over. It's she's sitting thing. on the egg? Wait, that, you don't think. You don't think that that's Sweetie's egg? It has to be Sweetie's egg. Sweetie's, no She lays every way. day. She lays every day. Guys, we just, we just found an egg and honestly, Good girl. do you think we would have found this without Pixie's help? No, she's been after it. She's, she really likes uh, her chicken friend. That is crazy. I can't believe we just found this egg. It's unreal. We're sweating out here. We've been doing some crazy searching, but guys, look at this beautiful chicken egg, Sal. This is for you, your chicken. Yeah. So I think we're on the right track. I mean, this egg, I mean. For sure, we're for on the right sure track. We're yeah. on the right track. So I think we should continue this way down the path. So yeah. since we found this first egg, we're gonna take it. Pixie, Come on. you're doing great. I can't believe this. 12 acres and we just found an egg. So it looks like Pixie's pretty tired. Pixie might hang out here, but we're gonna continue our search for Sweetie the missing chicken. I think we should go this way. Oh, we're getting into some serious jungle. Pixie, come on, you're coming. Pixie's getting a little tired. Pixie's following us through the field, trying to find her friend. Come on, Pixie. Honestly, I have never had a cat that will just follow you around like a dog. Look at this. Pixie's following us. We're on the hunt. Guys, comment down below a prayer that we find Sweetie safe. One hour later. So we've been searching for the past 30 minutes with no end in sight. And right now, do you hear it still? I hear something. You hear it too. Yeah. Guys, we hear some like chirping, kind of like the noise that a chicken makes. We're making our way. It's getting a little bit louder. It's really hard to hear right now. It's just, it's getting fainter. Wait, I, I hear it. She, there oh she is. Gosh. She's there. Ah, we found her baby. Yes. Hey, right up here in the bushes. Look. Oh, she's okay. Just like we thought. She's up here in the girl. forest. Is she all right? Hey, girl. Yeah, she's good. Wait, where's where's Pixie? She's okay? Yeah. Oh, that's all that matters. Good. Look at that. Sweetie, we found you. We're going to take you back home to your buddies. 
This is awesome, bro. This is so cool that we Thanks, found Jacob. it. Thanks, Jacob. Guys, I'm so happy that we were able to find Sweetie here today. I'm sure Sal is just ecstatic right now. Yeah. I'm sure Pixie's gonna be really happy. And look where she is, kind of exactly where I thought she would be, kind of in this really dense forest area that's protected from the sun. Does she look a little thirsty? Yeah, she's probably yeah, thirsty. She looks like she's a little bit panting right now. Her mouth is open. I know, you've been through a lot, sweetie. You've been through a lot. We rescued Sweetie the chicken, but now we don't know where Pixie is. Pixie, we can hear her making her meows. Wait, do we hear it? This way. This way, we hear Pixie. We can't wait to reunite Pixie with Sweetie. I think she's over yeah, here, she Sal. Right she must be right over here. I'm, I'm trying to listen for her. Pixie! Pixie, where are you? There she is! Pixie! Pixie, come here! This is gonna be really cool to reintroduce these two best friends back together. Look, yes! The best friends! You can see Pixie and Sweetie are just so happy. Oh, she's over it. She's like, okay, I see her. I've got Sweetie and Sal has got Pixie. Now we're just making our way back towards the house because I don't know if you guys can see it, but we got some afternoon thunderstorms rolling in. We already hear the thunder, so we want to get this chicken back in our coop and we don't want Pixie to get lost back here. So we're going to get these guys back to their coop so they can be safe and sound. All right, we made it back to the coop. Ginger's here. We've got Sweetie, so we're just going to put Sweetie on down right here. Sweetie, you're back home. You want to go in with your friend? Look at that. Two chickens reunited back together. This is awesome. So we're gonna give Sweetie some food right now. As you can see, they're both hungry chickens munching away on their chicken feed. We're gonna let Sweetie and Ginger enjoy their food. Sweetie's been through a lot today. We don't want Sweetie to get stressed out. All right, close her up, Sal. We wanna make sure these chickens are nice and secure. That, my friends, is going to end today's episode. I hope all of you guys did enjoy watching today's chicken rescue. Sal, I'm glad I was able to help Thank out, you, bro. Glad I was able to come. Guys, if you don't know Sal, we did a video once before checking out some of his fruit, crazy fruit with our animals. So you can see right here, fruit hunters on Instagram and online. So tell them what you got. You got some crazy fruit boxes. All sorts of fruit from soursop to durian to jackfruit all delivered right to your door. Sal literally has the craziest tropical fruit. It's everything from mangoes, durian, soursop. Even if you don't like fruit yourself, well, if you have animals that like fruit, fruit hunters is the place to go. So I'm gonna be linking Sal's Instagram and YouTube and his website in the description so you guys can check out all of his crazy tropical fruit. And if you guys are not subscribed yet to me, you wanna see more chickens, you wanna see tigers, lions, turtles, and tortoises, and all kinds of crazy animals. Well guys, all you have to do is go right now, hit the subscribe button, tap that little notification bell, and you'll be notified whenever I post.